American innovation and consumer protection as we undertake the first ever legislative markup for digital assets. The legislation we're considering today is more than a decade in the making. This is a software revolution and a financial revolution if done correctly. Developers are using blockchain technologies the next, uh, as a building blocks to create the next generation of decentralized internet technology, also known as Web3, which will give individual users more ownership over their data, transactions, and finances. As other jurisdictions like the UK, the EU, Singapore, and Australia have moved forward with clear regulatory frameworks for digital assets, the United States is at risk of falling behind. We intend to change that today. I ain't got to deal with none of this shit. I ain't got to deal with none of this shit. You ain't nothing but a habitual mind, stupid Jedi mind tricky motherfucker, and I ain't got to deal with it. You gonna deal with it? You know why? Do you know why? Blockchain. That's right, motherfucker. Blockchain. You remember uh Thursday, Tony? That trick I used to see on Tuesdays? He lost his house investing in some bootleg Bitcoin? Well, that nigga, his plate got me researching this shit. And you know, cryptocurrency above everybody know that. But blockchain? Oh, that shit the future. <laughs> You can laugh if you want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Catch your bet or you pass. To my surviving home, because I'm a moron, I leave you nothing. Money God, God. I will explain cryptocurrency by clicking the link to TV's most beloved scientist, Mr. Jim Parson. People think I'm a nerd, but I'm actually super cool. That's why I'm here to talk about the really cool subject of distributed consensus-based cryptocurrency. A jingo for cryptocurrency. We need a record of every transaction. These are recorded in what's called a distributed ledger. I'm the consensus of share, synchronized, distributed data. Spread across multiple platforms from Shanghai to Renata. Each day we are closer to being cash of the future. Not in your wallet, I'm in your computer. Oh yeah! When you use the currency, the transaction is recorded in the ledger. <laughs> I can dig it. And when one ledger book gets filled up, we add to a chain of previous books. That's the blockchain. Later, glitches. If you'd like to learn more about how cryptocurrencies work, here's everything else you need to know. So will Francoin finally be the invention that makes me rich? Francoin was just rated the world's most stable financial instrument, beating gold, the renminbi, and roadside corn. Well, can't eat no cryptocurrency when the grid goes down. That's why I started my hedge fund. <laughs> How will I stay alive? It's almost midnight. What? Excuse me. Don't mind me. I'm just uh, waiting. I'm waiting for the realization to take place that's approaching as we reach. 12 o'clock. The next seven years are key. No. Uh, and then it will take us on to following after that to the nine. Two years after that. So anytime when you hear of a lockdown or wherever it may be, that can take place at any moment over the next, well, over the next two years to 2025, which is nine. But it could also take place anytime over the next seven years probably on several occasions. When I came out with what seemed to be, what was a, what would have been perceived as a concept of the movie mirror, it would have been, it may have been perceived that way, but now it's actually coming to fruition. You can see that it's actually very, very real. And um, well, along in, inside of that, inside of that um, breaking open, how this, this place works, Right, you can see the universe as well included in that. It's prediction, because it, it it also means within such a thing that I have to be able to to predict the actions of the mass collective consciousness in terms of not the characters but the players, i.e., you. You think? Look at predictive programming. The word predictive programming it goes far beyond that. You see, because the movie, the movie Mirror, is it contains a mirror. And the mirror is an old occult um, form of sorcery and, uh, and works with magic as well. Double-edged sword, right? Just like technology. So the, the more you gaze into the mirror, 
the more that the mirror is able to suggest back at you and is able to catch each individual's in individuated perception and tune that into one central point, which that one central point, you would then, we could then put that as, as say, as a hive mind. This is why you will have lots of beings, lots of character beings, who will look up and bark upon trying to change their features to all look the same, big lips, all that. That's, that's how the movie mirror uh, interacts and manipulates the minds and controls uh, in, in, in en masse. That's how, that's how it does that. Now, on the flip side of that, what's, what it's able to do, what happens here is, is this. You are actually directly inside of the movie. So the desired effect from you is so that you do not grasp things when they're in front of you but you will recognize them when they are given to you from the, from, the, from the directors who have actors in place who pass this information onto you and they set the scenes and change the scenes. So now, when I bring forth, when I've, when I've been, several, several years ago now, I've been bringing forth blockchain technology, DeFi, and in the last so long, Web3, which you've seen with uh, Videolook, which is you reclaiming your data, right? And now, the American government is now telling you exactly what I said to you. There is a financial revolution taking place that they have no control over because it resides, it's coming from outside of this movie. That's where, that's where its origin point is, this side of it. The other side is, is these, what they are now calling UAPs, right? They're calling them UAPs. I've, taught, I've done videos before and I've explained to you about my intense interactions with of the entities that are, don't reside in this physical plane, interdimensionals, along with other advanced forms, other advanced human beings that look like me and you, they don't, they don't reside in this plane. So they have levels of technology far beyond what we can comprehend. So they're flying through the sky in the aeroplanes and these, these normal, normal character guys, they're seeing them. And the type of interactions that they're having is deeper than what's being told. Where the, 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 the other craft will just come play games with them, disappear on this side, come back on this side and then implant thoughts into their brain. That's how, that, that's how these entities work. I know, I know it for a fact because I've experienced it in 2015 massively because there was one in my garden. I've got all the footage and everything so it can be seen and, and those beings don't want me to do what I do here right now. They don't want me to do it, right? And because of that, uh, I experienced levels of technology that you wouldn't even, you, would just, just, you wouldn't be able to comprehend it. There's something that's able to sort of vacuum you up like you're an ant from here. To, to, yeah, yeah. Technology that can do that, right? Um, so like you've just seen at the beginning, so now, cloning. There are cloning centers, cloning centers underground. Uh, the cloning technology the, you, it works with REM sleep. Once you drop into REM sleep, that's when they're able to do something called consciousness transfer. So a lot of the beings that they have that are walking around, they are th th some of the same, like it's almost like a, like a dog, like a kind of pedigree dog that you have, right? The same beings that are upright through the timelines. So you can see, still, I've done video, I've done a post about it years ago. I could probably, when it comes up, I could show it. Years and years ago, I used to, used to go into it a lot and it's the right post on it. So you can find Sylvester Stallone in, uh, who was in the Habsburg family, all that, all this sort of stuff. They've moved the people across the timeline. So now, but they want to give this to people because you are in the movie. It's all a part of the movie, all of it. So when they, predict, when they give you up front, so now they are giving you things at a much quicker, faster, sharper rate, right? Much, much quicker and faster. So now, so we have the ability, I'm not gonna go too far into this because other videos, this is, this is other, other, other areas. Like I'm able to manifest the reality that, that, that I want to, to come forth because what I'm able to do is to, you're able, we're able to sift through and kind of rewind ourselves, right? Back to before here, and attach ourselves to a, the super, a, a more super supreme being, right? Super being that is that's dropped down into play this game, right? They don't want you to be able to do that. So that's why this movie mirror has always existed for as long back as they've had this 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 um, as long as long as they've had the technology that they've that they use now, because that falls in alignment with you being in cities, and that's why now you have smart cities. So all of the things that you see have already been given prior. They have already, the things that, are, that you see now, they've already been given to you 
prior through the movie mirror screen through the screen right so by giving it to you prior through the screen what it does is it is implanted into your into your brain right ever since you have been here and then when the moment comes you are, you act a particular way which you perceive to be as predictive programming but it's much much deeper than that because in reality really the movies that you are watching they are actually a mirror reflection of the movie that's actually really currently playing out that's how this reality works so it's not going to give it to you it's going to give it to whoever is action in it whoever actions this right now from 2020 the script writing that i was talking about is this super being having the ability to interact with the simulation to manifest the type of realities that it wants to experience itself right now there's forces that that in itself i could go into it much much deeper than that which are jealous of that to an, to an extent they would they they want to be able to that's why they're doing what they're doing with technology but we have a divine intervention with this technology and that's why cloning the, the video that i played and the lady she's speaking about cloning it's a cloning video but the lady is speaking about crypto sorry right she's speaking about crypto and she goes on it's a symbol she tells you kansas city shuffle crypto is just this it's just that it's not crypto it's blockchain we're moving into a new type of reality with the, the movies just going into part two there are beings in the movie in part two they are able to move around with exceptional freedom and they're able to generate ridiculous amounts of abundance whilst these other beings they are they are in a dystopian reality and it's basically of their choice sorcery top level where they have made a choice in alignment with the workings of the laws of nature that dictate like i said through action because they chose to not participate they chose to not participate they chose to continue to spectate which meant that they have to by default have to fall under the script of the, these controllers that script is a part of the, these sdgs that they have right these uh, sustainable development goals right that's what it what it's all about and this is manifesting right now so they want to try to so it's ridiculously hot here today they want to try to be able to get involved and to try to um to try to to make DeFi because he's just told you you can't just finance a revolution but they want to try and manipulate it in whatever way they can but they're not able to do it they're not able to do it like that right because you think it's just me this is what we're at the very very forefront so divinity has given it to you as souls the ability now right the ability to be right at the forefront forefront and to change the paradigm to a more accelerated a more a more higher vibrational yeah a more free sovereign reality where you have ownership of your assets right and ownership of land and so on and so forth through the ability to generate abundance because what i'm trying to explain to you is this currency thing this, this, this all this digital currency money it's not going anywhere it's just transforming and transmuting itself onto a higher level right and it's going to be like like this because what the laws of what they're doing is manipulating the laws of nature which dictate whoever is the one what what mother is saying is this the supreme mother is saying is whoever is the one that command that can wield the sword is the one that's right is the one that's righteous enough rightful enough to be able to command here that's it that's it now we are doing it and that's what this winning lottery ticket's about and that is what the governments are speaking to you about because they're telling you about making it fair for consumers because it's going to be so vast that they can't control it but what's what's actually really happening is is that we're actually writing promissory notes right now this is going beyond common law worrying about your birth certificate it doesn't matter about your birth certificate when i've got a scan of your iris right this is this is what we're saying now when we are operating in this DeFi space that doesn't happen so what happens is we are able to prove everything ourselves up front for the consumer which is what they call it which is just people so when we can when when we when we prove it up front we prove the reserves up front and then we give you the winning lottery ticket so we say 
here, this winning lottery ticket is guaranteed. Nobody can take it away from you and nobody can stop you from claiming it because you've already proved that we've got the reserves up front to already pay it to you. So what you've got to do now is get hold of the fact that you want to do your health, you want to do this, you want to do all these things, right? But what you have to do, what we have to do is, is this. You have to reclaim your born right to abundance, which is attached to the, the workings of the reality that you find to be mundane and boring. Finances, currency, all of these things. It's not like that. We've been running away from it because it was already associated with slavery, mundane, horrible, gray stuff, right? But that was in the old world. Now we're moving into the new world. It's associated with your higher, higher, vibrator, higher vibratory consciousness accelerating towards a more peaceful, loving, utopian reality. Happiness, joy, orgasmic bliss is all associated with this force, this negative force when we de, because we take it away and we make it passive. And when we make it passive, this negative force releases an orgasmic flow because we are in a paradox. Just grasp what I'm saying to you because we only have a short amount of time left. Look past the trauma and the suffering of all of the things that have happened in the past that you think are associated with money and digest what we are bringing to you right now because blockchain is the future, right? And the ones that make it are gonna make it on the freedom plane on the other side and the ones that don't, they're gonna stay within the, in the centralized system with the, the, with the centralized digital currencies. This is fact. You can't change it. That is, that is exactly what's happening. So jump on, jump, jump on board this financial revolution that's designed for souls to achieve physical freedom so that we can go and, and travel this, this physical plane.